Assalamualaikum warahmatullah. Shomon to bhai bunera apnar dekhe shagoto janachi. We were talking about young leaders. Amader mudde je bhai alhamdulillah abdullah he's been here for alhamdulillah for long long time, and he's a successful leader as well. Amader community the shoshma wana bolte ta ki je amader ashole kuno role model nai. Amader kichhu apnar there is many good news. And in some cases true hasadaf ta apnar onak do brotan ba dekhna ma community mudde onak youngsters are they don't have access to good education, they don't have access to good jobs and all that stuff. But I'm not saying that we're going to do it, that's why we're doing this show. As I said, we're going to talk about Sayyad Bhai, he's a very successful businessman. And now we're going to talk about, because the person who's in the show, Abdullah Bhai, he's going to talk about it. He's going to talk about it, he's going to talk about it. He's going to talk about it, 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 inshallah. And let them hear what he has to say. His relationship with his father is Amazing. I mean, I'm, I'm one of the witness actually. I'm one of the witness. I'm mean, basically going to say now, I think he's going to cry. I, honestly, mm -hmm. I, that's what I believe. Um, so we're going to talk about it, inshallah. So bring your kids into the table, inshallah. Abdullah Bhai, um, thank you for staying with us. I know Said Bhai had to go. I mean, Afnar, I'm following you for a long, long time, uh, 15, 20 years. Afnar, the achievement in our society and the community, especially Bangladesh community, is amazing, actually. Not many young people we see that doing work for everybody. Is in a home. Not success. It's it's. Said was selling. You know, success means you're happy with what you're doing, and if you can get some recognition, if you can get paid, it's a bonus. So I, alhamdulillah, I've been doing what I enjoy. You know, middle of the path. I've been trying to uh, earn a living, but also give back to community. You know. Wherever I go, whatever I do, I have to come back to where I live. And if where I live is not good, is not safe, is not clean, and people around me are not be able to get the benefit of what I had, then what's the point of my success? One of the success we look at is in Stepney FC. I've been the chairman for a long, long time. About four to five hundred people are, you know, you're working with. Those young people, actually, footballers, and they are achieving something that I'm going to say to you. Bala Bandhu Lagi Gurar, Khalar Gya Afna, Arikula Khoret. And you take them out to Denmark, you take them to India, you take them to so many places. They still talk about you, those young people, they still talk about you. Well, they're like an extension of my family. You know, I was very lucky, Afna Jaran Jara Stepni, I'm just a counsellor. So I'm a counsellor for everybody. But I'm a timeless, so particularly I'm a Bangladesh community, there's a high number of young people. So I wanted to do something that was different. So because of my network and because of the work and because of the certain, certain relationship I have with certain people, you have to put it to good use. Allah you have to make it you know, uh, to good use. So I knew, and you know, uh, Malcolm, he was one of the most senior guys in Tata. Now, Tata is a big company. 20 billion pound a year after Bevsha Tara Khore. So, that's why I'm going to talk about this. So, that's why I'm going to talk about this. 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 So, I'm going to talk about this. I'll do something different. I'm going to talk about this. 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 I mean, India, they come from all expense paid. In December 25th, I'm going to YouTube was a step NFC trip to Tata to India. Salijon Bachya. German the social to Bachya is in jar fast food on I. I mean, fast food money at more than two three inch. For sure, they have to like Sena when we raise the money. Salish price, Salish ventures are bound to get to it. I mean, our team really, our job is. And I was very lucky. Our team was a very dedicated man. So all asla. Akik by our Afijul Fakrul, our Khalis by is our senior brother. Amazing, very dedicated brothers as well. So our show I met. I first time I raised horsey, and we took these young people to India. I would say a lot of them, not everyone, a lot of them changed their life point. Because growing up in East London, Ocean Estate, or poverty, as say, I'm a kharaf jinish dekh si, or to wa johorra. But when you go to India and Calcutta, and you see people uh, living under the rail bridges, uh, you know, 
one of the most amazing experiences was taking the boys to Mother Teresa's orphanage. 40, 50 year old beta betin that are disabled. They are India for Hoshomotara Mafeta are abandoned with a Falaya Gesege Railway Maze. Error near Mother Teresa orphanage in Yatara look after horse to go and spend a day with them was the most mm. amazing experience. So I, I hope we are able to educate those young men. So tomorrow Jashu Mushata Kanahane, whatever you think is bad that you can't achieve, look at the opportunity that they don't have that you have in London. So uh, that's, 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 the, that's the biggest way of learning, isn't it? You go experience. and see yourself. Exactly. It is the government of Bangladesh. Do you know what Bangladesh is doing? Aaj je pular thola do gurafiri akhli kadi ekbar ta ayak ki afna. I mean, you know, I remember Amra, you know, some of the boys that we took us. Thara oto beshi oye don shomboti naay oye jo naay. After they played football with those boys, jo mene ekta bachcha sin, he was playing. He was almost good enough to play for the national junior team in India, Tata Sport Academy na zay. So Amra ek bachcha young fuai, thala lagya ta friendship hoyi chhu. Ek shafta na zay. Hey, am koi to thare de ek hazar rupee for being in the sport complex. As a young man, 16, 17, 14, 15 boys, one thousand rupees they get. One month allowance. Who live literally fuller tole, herare fatai he. So when we left, he had a 60, 70 pound or whatever job as in buta sin, he was already rich. So this is what I mean. Amra re, we talk about young people not getting exposure, opportunity. Once you put young people, give them responsibility, give them experience, they can actually live up. And that's the most amazing thing about, I think, about our British Bangladesh community. We are born, natural born leaders, I think. A lot of us just need to be given the opportunity. We also believe, or we are also have a natural a knack for entrepreneurship. No business plan, no nothing, no bank loan. We went out there and we did it. So that's the spirit, that's the starting point of our community. What we need to do now is finesse. But Abdullah Bhai, do you mm. realize, I mean, I don't know if, of course you will know, that a lot of our parents are complaining. I'm not kids nowadays, uh, they are spoiled. <laughs> you know, they are demanding so much. Well, Ikare, how ex do we expectation and reward. You know, going back God, 20 odd years, the Shumami parenting course ran Dr. you know. Uh, there's this thing about expectation and demand and reward. If you just give, 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 automatically I own. So, as I said, uh, when I was 14, I used to have a Sunday job. 15 pounds, that's all I used to get. Now, in this day and age, that might be child labor. <laughs> but in those days, it was a lot of money. So I used to give my mother 10 pounds, say keep that for me or spend it or do whatever you want. And I used to keep 5 pounds. That was my extra money. Although I, used to, I was one of the few people in my class who used to pay for my school dinners. So my dad had a job. Um, but that was me at the, say I want to be on my own feet. I want to earn. I want to contribute to the family, not just take from my mum and dad. Is that because like you were seven when you come in this country? So you're quite mature or you've, yeah, seen, I was, I was, you've uh, seen yourself? I've seen, I mean, okay, you, you know, I was lucky. But, you know, I now have a seven-year-old son. He, until this winter, we just bought him a Kindle. No computer games allowed. No uh, game station, you know. He does play it when he goes to his cousins, whatever. But I've given him a, one of those. But it was because is a reward for him working hard. As you know, then they don't appreciate it. You also have to find a balance. You know, you have to also have physical relationship with your children. I must say, the I picked up today, actually. One thing is, Sad Bhai said, his, uh, his father grabbed him and kissed him, and that changed his life, because he felt so proud. And he, changed, he said he made a dream from then. He used to hold your hand and go to it. And you was proud and he was proud. Mm. See, if he wasn't proud, he wouldn't say that. He wouldn't say in front of the TV, million people are watching. Like, I'm on a battle, you know. Um, it, it, those things has to be worked on. Yeah. No, no, of it course. takes as, time as said, to build you know, up. Uh, giving your child the latest iPhone, whatever, it's not emotion, love. That's just materialistic love. What I believe you have to give you have to nurture with physical life and time. 
physical, giving them time. You know, I, I, I don't support Arsenal, my son does. For the last two years, once a year, I mean, it's, you know, it's not that I'm rich or I have much time. I make an effort to go to watch a game with him. I mean, I would love to take him on a sun Saturday to Emdad Bai's uh, football training, but I don't have the time on a Saturday. Plus, he used to go Arabic classes, so it wasn't always difficult. So these are some of the physical things we need to do. To a success is not just about being a millionaire. Success is also having a family, having a children, feel that you're giving them time, that you're giving your family, your wife, your daughters, your, your mother's time. So we have to balance between everything to uh, you know, find success in our community. And by that, collective working, our community will become more success. You know, um, it's not that every father is a role model. Sometimes the father who spends all the time with his son, but the son then mm. maybe says, my role model is my dad's friend because he's, he drives the best car or he's got the best job or he wears the best suit or he's the most funniest. But it's the father who takes him to those places, who introduces to those things. And that's the avenue to you encouraging, bonding, building, a foster, a, a fostering a better relationship with your children. That's amazing. Honestly, mm. that is so amazing, the things mm. you said. Amr Dharam, there is a shift of parenting style changing now. A lot of young pe people, I mean, a lot of young parents, actually, they're more friendly, mm. they're more open, and they're more engaged with their families and kids and wife and everybody else if they're playing a role. Mm. It has a very positive impact. Yeah, it definitely. is, but I mean, I'm not saying it doesn't everything... Mean, no, no. It doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean that. Of course They no. couldn't show. That's one uh, thing they don't... Yeah, and, and, and that's... I'm glad you brought this up because one of the things that we from BB Power, what we set up is the BBPI Foundation. Because I made the story that when I was growing up, my dad knew one counsellor. He had a friend who was a re restauranter. He had a friend who was a, a you know, a you know funny. so that was his immediate friend. So I had to choose between, you know, those as people that I mm -hmm. could become a restaurant owner or a, or a, a counsellor or whatever. My son growing up now, alhamdulillah, you know, well, I can say, uh, you know, what I, what I call my immediate friends who have come to my house that he knows. One is an MP, one's an IT. You know, Akik Bai is, he, you know, if my TV goes wrong tomorrow, the only person who knows how to fix it is Akik Bai because he's such a, a wizard. You know, the, he's um, a CAD kitakor on computing. Yeah, yeah, you know, coding. He, I, I, I coding so. it, <laughs> So in one generation, can you see the difference in our community? You know, I personally have friends who are doctors, lawyers, engineers, and uh, judges and so forth. So our next generation will become, inshallah, even better. But we know there is a, not every father can provide that support, you know, uh, can f provide that network. So that's why we set up the BBPI Foundation. The BBPI Foundation effectively acts as a, as a gatekeeper for our next generation. So, you know, we know there are big jobs in the city. So I'm friends with Saeed. I can say to Saeed, um, you know, if there is an internship, if there is a work experience in your company, let me know. And I will then put young people who, who want to do well. So I'm just stepping football club where young people are saying, you know, we've got Tata to look after them, work experience, do their CVs. So we... Do you, do you still have that going, still going? Um, well, I've now mainstreamed it. Okay. I brought Tata into Stepney Green School and in June they come in for three days a year, literally do workshop with young people. So one of the things, because, you know, I can't physically do everything every year. So I've tried to sometimes mainstream things. That's great. So I brought Tata in, made the introduction to Stepney Green School. So Stepney Green School, year what, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, uh, Tata comes in for three days and they do workshop induction on business skills, leadership, CV, uh, how to present yourself. So that's what I've done. So that's what I'm now doing with BBPI Foundation. We set up a charity which, which is registered. You can go online, bbpifoundation.com. And in fact, we're giving away uh, some money to young people, free, you know, free money to help them improve their life skill. Uh, to, so we just launched in November a big event in Oxford University with 45 Bangladeshi students from Oxford and Cambridge who are there already. And we're asking them to become mentors for the next generation of youngsters who want to go to Oxford and Cambridge. Are they all Bangladeshis? They're all Bangladeshis, awesome. 45 British Bangladeshi students. And so, you know, so when I was you know, going to university, I only had two friends who went to Oxford and Cambridge. 20 years later, We've got 45 British Bangladeshis at Oxford and Cambridge. 
So our foundation effectively, what we're trying to do is say, if you're going to spend 30, 40,000 pounds getting a degree, we want you to go to the best universities. And while you're at the university, so my people on my BB Power list will act as mentor. And then when you're at university, you want to get work experience, we will put you in touch with some of those big jobs in the big city companies that we have built a relationship with. Amazing. So that's effectively what we're doing. So, you know, my father didn't know anybody in the city but he still encouraged me to pursue my dream. But we are now saying, we know people in the city. We've got people working in the city. How many people you know I know have good jobs in Canary Wharf? We wa what we're saying to them is, you don't have to physically do anything. Just let us know this job exists. Come into the foundation. We get young people who put their CVs and get in touch with us on social media. We will then put them up. You know, if I put something out on my Facebook, say tomorrow there's a job going at Mo Morgan and you know, uh, Clifford Chance, whatever, 50 people can apply. Abdullah, have you noticed something? I just, um, in my mind, it's working like that. Your father actually dreamed you all your dream, and you actually living his dream. <laughs> have you noticed that? Actually, you said, I became politician, I became the just to please my dad. Actually, you're living his dream, and you knew that he wanted all these things. Mm, yes and no. My father a was a very si simple man. He, he, everybody in Brick Lane from 60 to 8, 90 knew my father. He never got involved in politics. But as I said, I was in 1985 campaigning in Brick Lane for a council election. So I got that feeling that my father was always helping people. That mm, okay. I wanted to help but take it to the next level. So I was there as a councillor. Alhamdulillah, I think in the eight years that I was a councillor in Stepney and you were there, you know, from all the things that I did, it's still there. You know, still there. It's still, you know, kind of nice to know that people still remember me. And when I go to Jumma every now and then, Shah Jalal, they say, Batida Kwaibath, come back. And so I do that. So my Tell me about the bench. You know, something, a legacy you've made up for your dad. I want to know about the reason behind and the emotions behind. <sighs> I would love to know that yeah, part. Okay, so when I became a councillor in 2006, I went to Jumma in Islam and Mosque, a funeral. It, didn't it was about six or seven funeral. And you, if you remember back in the days, Phil Giddish did, it was a yeah, two-way road. Gin Phil Giddish did the one way to grill. So when John Azar Sheshwi said, last day, it was chaotic. Shadai was a driver, a white van, I say, he was a guy who was a You know, he wants to do his delivery in the warehouses. So I made a, that day, I sort of said to myself, I'm going to turn this road into one way and create the, a system. So it took some time. Obviously, we have to do all the uh, consultation and everything. So I basically turned Philgate Street, Hongila uh, Dekhba, is one way. one way, yeah. To make life easy. One way, the most tower is that Rasta is a extra space. So, Amra Khan Shab, the most of the Rasta, Yamar Jemaya Horta, Hazit Toslim Shab, who is a prolific Muslim pioneer. Uh, so I decided to put a, a, a bench there. So most, mo, uh, the idea was that most tower of Murubi, Boishala, Manush Tahoin, Tara Aila, Ayan Mosudan was Fola, Goro Zaiba Shumoy, no Boya to Batash Aram Hola. So I put a, uh, and because I used to go to Dubai a lot at that time, I mean, I thought, you know, what nice to put a palm tree. To you know, summer dinner boy like to still half life. I have I want to visit that. So, uh, and then, um, I thought it's not just I'm not Muslim, I'm not you can have a synagogue. I say, synagogue or manually involved for them. Therefore, I can that at a church. I said, church or manually involved for them. So, I basically got, got all three Abrahamic faith. So, I'm a bench on was a husband. I got a nam taklo. And the day, the week we launched that is actually the week the my father passed away. So, the Jonazar was there, I'm saying to create a sense of calm and order. You know, who knows? Allah maybe was Allah's the best planner. But just after it, the Udbudan Khara was just cut away. I mean, you know, I cut the ribbon. My father's funeral was a day before. So, the one-way system, the day my father's, you know, and I, I think, you know, uh, a lot of people came, uh, you know, mashallah, uh, you know, friends and people, well-wishers came to my dad's funeral. It was very orderly. Because it was just say uh, 2006, so I'm sure was a laxe, because you know, budget for sure laxe, the horse. But that one way system was finally implemented after three years of planning and uh, all the work and everything else. So the week that my father died, the, that's when we launched it. So 
all the cars came in one way, left in one way. So I think uh, even to this day, amazing, Alhamdulillah, man. it's still there. It's still, you know, um, I, I still walk past some every now and then. And there's a small, I think, uh, has a little plaque on my n name on it. No one's, no one's scrubbed it off. But it's, it's there. No, no, it's great. But I, I appreciate the fact that, uh, especially now Ramadan, you, you know, when, uh, summertime, people are sitting there. And I have to give credit to Town Red Council. Um, you know, some of them say it's my, uh, my oasis, don't call it Khoin. But come Ramadan, they change the flowers, make it look nice and extra nice because it was a Shomoto Beshi So, Philgate Street, Philgate Street Oasis, next time you're there, uh, sit down in the, on the benches and think of uh, those beautiful people who passed away before us and, and make dua for all of us uh, to continue to do good work in the community. Okay, can I just ask you one more thing before we don't have much time? We've only got five minutes. Do you feel You've been in the game for a long time. Do you feel we are lacking in young leadership? I don't think we're lacking in young leadership. I think there's a lot of young people with potential. Okay, what are the opportunities for them then? Because a lot of people are saying, I don't want to become, there's nothing, there's no you know, end game. Leadership so is doesn't mean having been there. You know, I'm not, I, I, you know, I have to phrase us in an English way, they've been there, done there, I've got the T-shirt. I've served in the highest form of London government, you know, from running the London police for six years. I was a councillor for eight years and as a cabinet and made people's imp I hope that I feel that, you know, and you, you can uh, agree uh, or disagree that I try to make people's life, improve people's life. You know, I've served on the board of a, a university, Queen Mary. So everything I do, that's... In the NHS as well. In the NHS and the, board of the Royal London Hospital. So all the roles that I've played has been a leadership role. But it's not about, you know, some people think leadership means you have to get elected. No. Leadership means you get involved and you take a lead, initiative, to make your life, your family life. But do you feel more young people are coming in the same way as you have? I think more people are choosing to do it in different ways. Okay. Right? So, you know, when I was growing up, I had to be in a meeting physically, and those people sitting in the meeting will then hear what I had to say. But with the advance of technology media, I can go on social media and, and you know, and tweet about it and Facebook it more people will see it. So people are taking leadership role in different ways. But we still need role models. We still need to look up to people who can give us some guidance. That we still need to share our stories so people feel inspired. That, so that's why you know, I go back to saying, uh, the, I feel that, I don't know if it's legacy, I hope inshallah Allah gives me a few more years, much more years to live and enjoy my, my life with my children and my family. What the BBPI is doing is creating a platform to showcase our, our, our community's talent. And what the BBPI Foundation is doing is extending a hand of opportunity to the next generation. I think so we have to mention one person, Bobby, playing a big role uh, with your work. Uh, home, she, home, is, home. she is amazing. That's why I really wanted in that show because she, not many people know what she's doing behind the scene. Alhamdulillah. Uh, it's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, you, know, you must be very, very proud. I, I'm very proud. We all are. My, 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 you know, my father was extremely uh, very happy, proud. In fact, the, the most, I, I'm going to finish on this story. The most proudest moment was... You've got two minutes. Yeah, so the most proudest moment for my most proudest, but one of his proudest moments was, uh, you know, my wife got an MBE, right, for winning the Olympic to London. So when we went to get the medal uh, in Buckingham Palace, my father went. Oh, lovely man. So a man who spent 40 years in London, he gets invited to Buckingham Palace. Right, so he meets the Queen. So all the Bengali papers who did the, um, the you know, they rang me, Abdullah, Abdullah, we want a photo of, you know. So I said, you know what, in one condition, well, yes, yes. Well, you published a photo of my wife and my father. Mm. So when my dad goes back to his friends to visit them in the factory on Friday, my father's photo is on the newspaper and all the papers had a big photo of him in the uh, Bengali papers. So I think he was a very proud man of his daughter-in-law. I mean, all, all men are. One minute, just to see your last word. Um, well, I, I mean, I'm, I really wanted to say thank you to Ikra Bangla for uh, hosting, uh, having me on the show today. You know, uh, alhamdulillah, uh, whatever I can do to inspire the younger generation through the BB Power, uh, you know, take comfort that these are fellow British Bangladeshi who have similar stories to you, have gone through the similar trials and tribulations as you've gone through, and if they can succeed, inshallah, you can too. So keep a lookout on BB Power uh, website, on our Facebook status and everything, and inshallah with the BBPI Foundation, which is a platform that we created to give you the opportunity to advance in terms of opportunities, mentoring, networking, 
uh, get involved. I mean, if you're a mother at home, you think, what can I do to inspire my child? Tell them to look at the BB Power publication. 100 amazing people who no doubt will inspire them, will engage with them, and hopefully motivate them to go and do, do well in life. Fantastic. So, my to buy winner, I shall Ambra on a kitchen lamaske, I shall on a shikamoto as a mother, you know. I shall Ambra Dujan buy there if they were very successful. I'm going to correct the Nisha Ambra Kubloko Horsije, Tadir the Shampokota, Tadir Mata among Pita Shatash, especially. Agents are actually lacking. Ambra Pita Jarasi, I shall like you. We don't tell our kids how much we love them. We genuinely do, actually. We don't say there's no parents who doesn't love their kids. But Amadu Gigula Boltohobe, Dahitohobe. They picked up little, little things. He's still bugging in his head. He's, he's quite old. Mm. So this, will, this is a legacy, honestly. And he feel proud like when he took, uh, when his you know, wife picked up AMB and then went to see the Queen. And he said, look, make sure you take the picture with my dad. See what I mean? I'm not the only one who has been in the world. I'm not the only one who has been in Our future is fantastic. Our future is bright, inshallah. So, Jaygul Amra Bollam, Amra Judi Kunikitu Apna Bulbolataki, the Akuramadaki Kromar Nazarak Ben, Maf Korben, and Ashakur Inshallah Gamito, Apna Shundor program Niashbun Shalla. Assalamu alaikum, Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.